Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. I'm now recording with the latest Katipo Star 500, this transmitter itself. It also has internal recording and this wireless microphone works at an ultra high frequency band, which is quite different from the traditional 2.4 gigahertz and is less likely to be interference in your content creation, especially in a grounded shooting scenarios. So, so coming next in this video, we're going to take a deep dive inside this STAR 500, the dual channel UHF and the wireless microphone system and why it is so important for our content creation and what you can do with this wireless microphone system. So we're going to cover a lot in this video. So now let's get started. But first thing first, just want to share with you some exciting features on this STAR 500 the transmitter itself. Because the transmitter itself is also a high quality audio recorder in your pocket. So it is capable to record internally 44.1 kHz at 24 bit depths. And yes, you heard it right, the 24 bit depths in uncompressed wave format. So literally speaking, if you insert a micro SD card in the card slot inside, you get a very high quality backup audio during your content creation and that is say so you don't have to worry about this uh, audio interference and you should notice the UHF standard works at around 500-600 MHz which has a much longer wavelength that it could transmit the signal uh, despite this interference so the UHF standard wireless transmission works more reliable compared to the 2.4 gigahertz. You know, the 2.4 gigahertz is really crowded in our content creation. And there's a reason why most of the professional level, the professional level microphones still work at a UHF standard, the UHF bandwidth that works at around 500, 600 megahertz that has a six times more wavelengths compared with the 2.4 gigahertz. And most of our electronic devices work at the 2.4 gigahertz, which definitely makes the 2.4 gigahertz very crowded and less reliable in the real world certain scenarios. So the UHF is less likely to get interference, but once it gets interference, you can always bring back this audio in the audio backup channel. So this is the ultimate ultimate audio solution for your content creation in the most shooting scenarios. And needless to say, in the UHF bandwidth, you get up to 48 different channels that you can always get outside interference before press your record buttons. It's way much powerful compared with the 2.4 traditional wireless microphone system. Another exciting new feature for my combo set is the Star Rig Audio handheld handle. So on this handle, it not only is compatible with the conventional coat shoe mount, which already inbuilt this Star 500 family, but it also has a quarter-inch mount spare hole on the back and on the bottom. So this this is perhaps one of the best design I have ever come across for this wireless transmission system that definitely transform your standalone transmitter into your interview audio handle that is very convenient and also very functional in your content creation. So the Star Rig it is also an excellent solution for this wireless microphone audio system. Considering it has a conventional coaching mount on the top, it is also compatible with the, all of the 2.4 GHz wireless microphone system, including the Rode Wireless Go, the DJI Mic, the Ceramic Blink 500, Blink 900, and all of these microphone systems, they're all compatible with the Star Rig audio handle. Coming next in this video, I would like to share with you a brief unboxing and in-depth hands-on on the STAR 500 the dual channel microphone system and this STAR rig audio handle. Now let's take a look at the brief unboxing of the Katifo STAR 500, this ultra compact dual channel UHF wireless microphone system. This two transmitter and receiver works at the ultra high frequency which is called UHF frequency band. Star rig is not in the package by default, but I will also highly recommend to use com as a companion with the Star 500 because this Star rig is an interview handheld adapter for this Star 500 microphone. And it also has some 
pretty unique design for this handheld adapter. Transmitter, two transmitter and one receiver, the UHF. The UHF is quite different from the 2.4 gigahertz that add a relatively lower frequency band that works around a 500 to 600. It's less likely to be interference in our working scenario, especially in some real professional shooting scenarios. That is why most of the professional wireless microphone systems still working at the UHF frequency band. And the ultra compact is designed for the YouTube videos, vlogging, live streaming, and podcasting product with the OLED screen that has a TF card for safety audio backup. That to say the transmitter could record internally for the safety backup. And the dual transmitter with 48 channels, which in which one channel takes around 500 K Hertz. And it also supports serial and mono output switch. It also has an inbuilt low cut filter and an audio gain control. It also with the real time monitor jack and the one click mute with a transmission range within 120 meters. Well, inside the package, you're gonna see a high quality hard case, which has two transmitter, one receiver, and with inside the zipper box. It's anti-proof, it's shockproof, waterproof, dustproof. It's built with high quality. And also have to see the Katifo logo on the side and with the hand strap. Those accessories come in the package. Let's take a look at them one by one. One of them is a Star 500, this uh, user menu, very well written. I'd like to share with you some in-depth explanation, especially on the specification. And there's two clamps designed for this two lavalier microphones. There are two lavalier microphones with TRS socket and with windscreen that are also with high build quality. And with clamp works compatible with these two lavalier microphones. Two audio cables, one of them is a TRS to TRS cable that support most of the DSR and mirrorless camera. And another one, a TRS to TRRS that support for the phone or your uh, laptop. And here is a USB-A to triple USB-C charging cable. But you can charge the two transmitter, one receiver simultaneously. So this is actually it by default. The, all of these cables and lavalier microphones, they all be, be jam-packed in these zippers, zipper bag. Okay, so now let's take a look closer look at this transmitter and receivers. It doesn't matter which one of the box you put. They share the same size and shape, so no matter where you put it, all fits nicely in the package, which is shockproof. Shockproof, really nice design. Okay, this is this one receiver, two transmitter, and you put on the two transmitter on your jacket, and you put on the receiver on top of your camera or video recorder. Okay, let's take a look at the receiver. Okay, they all share similar design all around this place. It's similar size and shape, similar weight, and they all have an OLED screen on the top. Well, on the top for the receiver, you get the audio output jack and the monitor microphone jack, the power on and off buttons. And for the transmitter, you get a microphone input for the lavalier microphone, and you also get an onboard microphone. The set buttons, because you have a well-designed menu where you can where we can play around with all the settings for the receiver and transmitter. So the set buttons, with long press, short press, double press, you can change, you can customize your settings for the receiver and the transmitter. And for the transmitter itself, what fancy me most, that it has a micro SD card slot. Well, you can insert a micro SD card just like this. I have inserted an eight gigabytes micro SD card, so you can turn on this onboard safety audio backup and save the uncompressed WAV format with 14.4.1 kilohertz at 24 bit. And by default, I will insert eight gigabyte, but it supports up to 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So this is another pretty unique design. I have already turned on all of the receiver and transmitters. As you might have noticed, this colorful OLED screen give you a lot of information on the go. Well, on the top panel, you get a, a two LEDs. Well, one of them indicates the wireless connection called link. Another one is a power button. 
And uh, to show you more about that, I highly recommend you take a closer look at the user menu because uh, on the user menu, you get to see all of the, the very well written explanations of every one of the function of the menu and some very unique and some very unique features. So definitely check this out if you are not familiar with this acoustical microphone. And here is the basic specifications where you can take a closer look at this, this frame if you want. So for your own purposes, you can refer to the specifications if you want to know more about some parameters that is not included in our video. Here, let's take a look at the receiver. The design of the receiver is pretty unique. With a colorful OLED screen, you get to see the real-time volume gain that's been transmitted from the transmitter itself. And you also get to see the group A and the group B, which indicates that this one works at group B. This one is group B, and this one is group A. So, the bones have the internal volume gain at 12, so you get to so 1 to 15, you have 15 different audio gain that you can cycle through the manuals. Well, you can see, and also you get to see this uh, connection, this, and you also get to see the quality of the, the wireless connection, and also the remain battery life for the group A, group B, and the receiver itself. Well, this receiver now works at a mono output that will automatically mix the two channels, the group A and the group B, into a single audio channel and output to your an output to your camera. And you can also switch back to the stereo mode. Well, there's two left channel, right channel. The left channel records the channel the group A for the right channel, it records the group B audio respectively. And if you long press the set button, you got to see this those menus. It's also a very simple and elegant menu design. And you can restore to default settings, and you can change the backlight mode. So after 30 seconds, it will lower down the brightness to save more battery. Uh, I don't want to change the settings. And I also see the group B settings, which indicates this transmitter. Uh, now it sets the volume into 12, but you can also click on long press set buttons and you can change the volume gain up to 15 so you can customize your audio gain on go and you can even set to zero to fully mute this group B. But by default, I would like to set to the 12. You also get to see the group B settings at exactly the frequency of the, this channel one. This is 568.6 megahertz. Or you can also change to different channels. One of the channel takes around 500 kilohertz. So altogether you have 48 different, different channels. And you'll get to see the power on or off buttons. And also have some customized settings for group A as well. In this output mode, you get to see the mono or the stereo. So if you want to do post process on the different groups, you can record in stereo mode to split this group A and group B into different channels. And if you want to be just want to be simple, that you can directly save at mono. Power key unlocked. So you can use this power key to unlock the screen, to unlock the menus in case that your uh, your interviewers will accidentally trigger this menu. And for the receiver, this is all what we can get on this online screens. And this real-time volume game is very responsive and also have some very unique colors. Once you one of the channel it's, over, it's likely to be overexposed, you get to see the red color on this end of this flow chart. Transmitter on the group A, I have already inserted a micro SD card. So just first, just want to tell you how to turn on this internal recording. So if you short press the power button, you can, you can mute this channel or unmute. And if you double short press, you are now recording this audio internally as an audio backup in WAV format in the microSD card. So this is pretty unique. I highly recommend for your interviewers, just every time just long press this power button and lock this transmitter that you always get a backup track on the go. And if you single tap, you can mute this on the go or unmute. And if you double tap once again, you can stop the recording. So. This transmitter itself could also be doubled as a pocketable audio recorder 
uh, in your working scenarios. And uh, you get to see this channel uh, if you long press this plus or minus button. You also get to see the menus, the settings of this. You can uh, the, the first you can restore to default. And next one you can also change the backlight mode. Um, by default, it will be set to 30 seconds. And it also mute key settings on lock or locked. So uh, sometimes you really want to, to lock because some of the interviewers might accidentally trigger these buttons that to mute your track without your permission. So this, this is the reason why you need to lock this mute key. By doing that, you get to see, you just cannot, cannot mute these buttons. Did you see that? You can only trigger this internal recording. And the uh, next one, let's take a look at more settings of this transmitter. Mute key settings, the low cut settings. I would like to turn it on by default, but you can also turn it off if you want to do more audio post process on with your uh, editing software. And you also get to see the individual settings on the volume itself. So before transmission, so before the transmitter wireless transfer the audio to the receiver, you can set this internal gain of this transmitter, turning it down. So maximum, so the maximum volume, if you set the transmitter is seven. And it can also set to one and even down to zero. But by default, I would like to put it on the seven. So you, you got to guarantee that your transmitter and the receiver will be pairing in exactly the same frequency that so they can communicate without any doubt. And more importantly, you also get to see this. You also get to see these settings. You can change into group A or B to whatever you want. So you can also put two of the transmitter into the same group or into different group, whatever you want. The signal strength, the channel number, the group number, the internal volume, and whether the low cut filter will be turned on or off. I'm now recording with the Cadivo Star 500, this transmitter and receiver mount on my Sony A7 Mark IV. Just want to give you a live stream demonstration while I am recording some explanation on my laptop, and I use the Cadivo Star 500 as my audio pickup devices. And I also turn on this internal recording in case I come across with some uh, electronic interference. So the audio you are hearing at this moment all comes from this, this Cotifo Star 500. So now let's get started and just want to share with you some more information on this brand Cotifo and their product line. Here you can see my, among all the product lines, Star 500 uh, looks just like something that is really hardcore. And they also have some uh, Star 200 and Star 150 that is a tiny little small wireless microphone system. And for the Pro Audio Solution, they also have some uh, livelier microphone and the wireless microphone system, the 200, 500, and FOG4. The Cotifo also produced some wired microphones such as the V-Mic, the C-Mic, and the FOVM01, and some more audio accessories such as the Starwick the Star Rig is what I'm using at this moment. The Star Rig is excellent audio handle for your interview content creation. So the the, the FO Lavalier Microphone One is an omnidirectional condenser Lavalier microphone. It also has uh, on-off buttons, and you can switch back in between the camera or the smartphone. So it's adaptive, and it is powered with two small batteries. And this lavalier microphone, this ULM1D, the dual lavalier microphone system, is also an interesting product in this lavalier microphones. The two in one microphones that you can use. The we will have interviewer, one interviewer and one interviewee you can wear exactly the same lavalier microphone. That is a dual lavalier microphone system. And uh, more importantly, this is also a USB, the, the digital lavalier microphone that has a USB audio port that directly plug and play. So this is another excellent solution for our content creations. And for wireless microphone system, uh, you, what you are watching at this moment, what you are hearing at this moment, all comes from Star 500. This is a, definitely this, this is a UHF band with the dual channel microphone system. And this is a Star Rig 
audio handle. It works just like a charm with two according to malware on the bottom and on the back. Uh, and more importantly, it also has a star two handler that is a one single channel and a dual channel audio solution. This tiny form factor make this star two handler this one of the most interesting the 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone system. It works at 2.4 gigahertz, so uh, it's so compared to the UHF standard, it's 2.4 gigahertz is more likely to be interference, especially in the crowded shooting environment. Uh, so if you want, if you have more professional use cases, to so definitely choose a Star 500. And for the Star 200, you get to see the single transmitter and dual transmitters, different editions. And for the wire microphones, the Kadivo also has some unique, unique solutions. For example, this V mic flexible, and uh, yeah, this one works very small microphone that works on your smartphone. Because the smartphone, you always have a TRRI socket, and it's a tiny shotgun microphone that dramatically improves your audio quality on your phone. And uh, the, the wire microphone, this one, it's C mic flexible and compact because this one that's built a TRS socket so it works for your cameras it's not for your phone but it works on your cameras such as this Canon the 600D and some Canon 5D Mark IV that is a traditional camera has an inbuilt TRS socket that's three pin holes in the audio jack uh, and more importantly, this one, the FOVM01, the universal mini shotgun video microphone. It's just like a road video micro. So it's a universal shotgun microphone system that uh, has a shock proof mount and two different cables, the TRS and a TRRS. And also with a built-in, it also has a built-in uh, windscreen. So this is definitely an overview on this Katifo product line on their official website. And during this live stream shooting scenarios, uh, you can evaluate the audio quality comes from this Star 500 UHF dual channel wireless microphone system. So what do you think about the audio quality? Please leave down in the comments and let me know. Turn on internal recording, double press. Okay, time to wrap up on this Star 500 this UHF dual channel wireless microphone system. I think this Katifo Star 5 really impressed me a lot and it definitely helps my content creation, especially in some really professional shooting scenarios, especially where the 2.4 gigahertz is gonna be super grounded. Here, I just wanna give you a brief recap on some of the highlight features about this product. Here, I just wanna give you a brief recap of some of the highlight features about the Star 500 and the star rig. So number one is it works at the UHF bandwidth that has a maximum 48 channels. It's much more powerful compared with the conventional 2.4 gigahertz and it's less likely to be interference in a super crowded shooting scenarios. And number two that both the transmitter and the receiver they all have an OLED screen that they all built with the functional menu system that you can customize your transmitter and receiver whatever you want the number three is about the internal recording capability that is capable to record the 44.1 kilohertz at 24 bit depth that is a high quality audio backup so this audio backup will make your post process workflow more reliable and more efficient and number four it comes with a nicely built package that is waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. Yes, and number five that I really love is Star Rig audio handle, just like this one. It's very small and compact, that is a quarantine mount right on the bottom, uh, on the back, and on the bottom. So this is a multifunctional that definitely makes the Kadifo Star 500 uh, more accessible, and especially when you have the um, interview uh, shooting scenarios. Next highlight feature is about the windscreen. I mean, the windscreen cleverly use the 3.5 TR socket that insert and it's very solid, very stable. It's, it's completely different from the road wireless go and it's, I think it's much better compared with the bayonet connector. But I do want to share with you something that is still need to be improved in the future, maybe with former upgrade. 
then the number one is about this internal recording because now we only have the 44.1 kilohertz internal recording it's quite different from the default 48 kilohertz with on-camera internal recording so sometimes especially when you have a long period of time recording to compare with when you compare the 44.1 to the 48 kilohertz the audio tend to be drift as time goes by so so if you want to perfect align it to audio track in post-production you do need some uh, little tips and tricks to synchronize the different audio with different sample rate another feature that i do want to increase the volume gain for the internal recording at least increase the internal gain by uh, 3 to 6 db that give us a better overall audio for the internal recording so number three is about this star rig handle so maybe in the future you can add a rubberized the protection on the surface it's all wanted noise that created by this handle this plastic stick will be transmitted to your transmitter and receiver and will be recorded in your final audio so you need to customize by yourself or maybe in the future the Katifo, this company should improve the design especially uh, how this customer will hold this handle in the hand it definitely worth the price and i do hope that this, this video will help you make a better investigation on this brand new audio solution designed by Katifo. so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to sum up subscribe and hit the notification bell talk to you soon see you next time bye